But I've got a three-point plan to give Blair a bit more lag, to give you a bit more lag than me. And the first one involves, you can do this at home. I love drills you can do at home. It's just hands on the shoulders with feet together. And this is going to be a turn. You know, we want to turn. It's going to be turn, step, unturn. Now, the reason I do it that way is turn so that when I step and unturn, my shoulders are lagging behind the hips. There's a number of things that lag, not just the club head. So it's going to be turn, step, on turn. Let's see you try that. Okay. Turn, step, on I'll turn. Give you I'll the take your club, thank you. Turn, Go. so start with the feet together. Feet together. It's turn, step, and on turn. And that's a great okay. motor program drill to try. Uh -huh. So let's hit one with that okay. general feeling that you're, oh, you're right. on turning and it's the on the sort of the shifting and the on turning of the body that's dragging the club down. Now, the, the second one is. The second drill I've got for lag comes from a fantastic golf professional in California called Greg McCatton. And it's the, to me, it reminds me of riding the bike when you're a kid and you say, look, ma, no hands. You've got your hands <laughs> off the bicycle. All right. So, so this is a great drill. So you don't, you don't accelerate it with the hands too early from okay. the club. You take your golf club, you put it underneath your lead arm. Under the lead arm. And then you take your trail arm and you hook it in front of the shaft. OK, like this. And now you take your lead arm and you grab the trail arm. Now I can move my wrist, but the club isn't going to move. So you just learn to sort of step and rotate and move the club much more with the body. Okay. So the body is the engine, the body is dragging it through. Uh, this is, I might have used this drill more than any on, on the club. Drag it through, okay. Dragging it through, the shift and there's rotation. I mean, you don't feel like you're holding an angle at all there, do you? Definitely not. I mean, the, 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 you know, when people have a lot of lag, they've got great sequence to the swing. Not the pitching sequence. You don't want too much lag when you're pitching. And then the last one, I'm going to have you hit one with this one. Okay. The last drill to create lag, you could do one of these three, or gradually you could do all of them. And this one I call the six-finger drill. Um, if I could have my intrepid cameraman come in, I know really I've got four fingers and two thumbs, but humor me and say I've got ten fingers. I'm going to take the bottom two fingers of my lead hand off the club. Okay. I'm going to take the bottom two fingers of my trail hand off the club. So you might say if I've got four fingers off, if I started with ten and I've got four fingers off, now I've got six fingers on the club. Well, just humor me on that. Six fingers, we'll okay. Call this a six-finger drill. Um, try and swing a golf club with six fingers, only six fingers on it. And you will, now you'll feel like Sergio Garcia. So practice swing that. You won't Ooh, throw different. the club. Oh, you'll <laughs> feel the club lag behind. I, if there's someone out there watching who wants yes, more lag, try, try the six home. finger drill. Now you can actually get hit golf different balls feeling, like for that. Sure. I'm going to step just slightly <laughs> to the side here. I trust you a lot. But all nevertheless, right, I've right. seen what can happen with it. But the six finger drill, you won't okay. be able to hit full speed here. But you know what? If you video the six swinger drill, it's remarkable how much almost anybody has a has a sort of Sergio look. You're but definitely I, I, do, that I, just, I just want to stress I've had so many great teachers influence me. Do you see this angle when you watch a great player and you freeze frame or you look at a photograph? Yes, you do. Is anybody who's any good trying to hold that angle? No, they are not. No, no, no. It's there, but you're not trying to hold it. All right, so the right, six Martin, finger here drill. I go. Six finger drill. And what's interesting right. to me there. That felt different. Is without, well, it, for sure yeah. it would feel different. What's interesting there is even with a six finger drill, because of the forces we create in golf, centrifugal force, if you want to call it that, or torques and forces, um, the club will come round and square up. They're built, I mean, they're built to square up. They're weighted to square up unless you interfere with it.